All right, I went ahead and deleted the memory card. Um, it kept turning off when I hit record, and I can't figure out why. And I have it, what I had on there was backed up except for a couple of videos, like one at night in the tent and one this morning, but for some reason I don't think it liked those videos because now it's working. Um, I'm not sure what was going on. Oh, I don't have it plugged in. Right. So I plugged it into the inverter. Let's see if it um, powers off again. Hope not. But it's 7.15 in the morning in Brookings, Oregon. Um, we spent the night at Harris Beach State Park. Yeah, looks like it's working now. But there's a... Um, High wind warning starting at 10 a.m. 25 to 35 mile per hour sustained winds with gusts to 70. Um, so I want to get out of here before that happens. Oh, they have a Fred Meyer here. All right, I got a battery notification. I wonder if that battery was going bad. So I swapped GoPro batteries. Um, I'm see if that helps never had this problem happen this long usually I'm able to and I also plugged it into the back seat um, USB port to charge it doesn't it the GoPro will not let you um, plug into like a laptop and record anything that can read the camera data it thinks it wants to do a file transfer and record option is not available but um, yeah I wonder if that battery's going bad um, I think I'll set it aside but I got good service here the uh, my video is uploading really fast I'm I might just turn the car off and um, let it upload I think I'll do that so I will be right back all right, so we are at the McDonald's here in Brookings still. And my file is 41, only 41 minutes left to upload. It's 40% done. Um, so at least in the mornings, their cell phone service is super fast. But um, I had the car turned off. And after a little while, I thought if I kept touching the infotainment screen, it would stay on, but... Um, the cigarette lighter power finally powered down. So I had to start the truck. So we're gonna get on the road. Um, I can't sit here and idle at this diesel for, you know, half an hour, hour. It's not good for it with the deaf. And we will see how it does. And every time we get to a town, we'll pull over maybe. been the battery uh, it's possible the old battery was not seated but I took it out and put it back in and it kept powering down so we'll have to mark that battery as possibly bad some of my batteries are old you know three years old but this ah this looks like downtown Brookings so just in case I lost any of that past video um, there's a Fred Meyer here which is nice and we got gas at Shell, $81 for 14 gallons. It was like $5.60 a gallon. But um, we've, we've used 20 gallons of diesel to get from Western Washington to Brookings, Oregon. So like 110 bucks maybe? No, I got Safeway. No, I didn't, Never mind. Yeah, like $110 it cost. Normally it costs like 80 if gas prices were normal. Ah, 
wow, here's a 76, and they don't have diesel. Wow. I've never seen a 76 without diesel. But we have 109 miles to Eureka. That's our next major place. Wow, there's something called Azalea Park to the left. If it's full of azaleas, that would be neat. <clears throat> but it is 7.38 now. Wow, they got a neat marina. Looks like a bunch of restaurants and docks. Perkins is a bigger town than I thought. Here's another Chevron. It's like the same price as I paid um, in the north side of town. So the um, they're still pumping your gas here for you, which was kind of nice this morning. But I got out anyway, because when I got there, the guy got busy and I go, by chance you can't wash my window. And he, he kind of laughed and said, I'm a little busy right now. And I said, I understand. So I got out and washed it. It's actually not terribly cold like yesterday. So my file is 47% uploaded. And it's looking like my signal's getting weak already, so that sucks. Pretty much needs four to five bars to upload at any speed. Wow, Maddie's Pancake House. Parking lot is just full of trucks. <laughs> lost um, cell service it looks like so this part of Oregon the extreme southern part it might have the worst cell coverage when you get out of the towns and cities it looks like going to be driving into a 25 to 35 mile an hour wind with gusts of 70 so that should be fun at least until we get to California possibly Eureka Calif at least until the border for sure
the Oregon's Redwood Trail. Next left. There's the campground that way too. There's cell phone reception is poor though. I would not stay there. Unless you know, don't mind that. Chrissy Field State Park, right. The state parks just keep on coming. So this is the first real clouds of the trip. In 300 feet, Hello. turn slight right to US Nope, Warner. just yeah. nuts. All right, you have a wonderful day. All right, thanks. So no plants you can bring either. Turn slight right to US 101. So we... Proceed well, 15 miles on US 101. Welcome to California. I thought it was a lot farther. So Eureka is 102 miles from the border. I did not realize that. Now I can't wait to see how much diesel it is. It's been four years since I've been in California. I wanted to come sooner, but because of COVID the last two years. Ah, uh, awesome beach. I made it. <laughs> California was seeming really far away the past few years. Everything's open though now. I don't even think they have a mask mandate anymore. Pretty sure they don't. Fifty cents. Oh, this is an Indian reservation um, casino. So yeah, diesel's fifty cents higher there.
much out of the high wind warning. Um, I thought I had more to drive through it, but I was on the extreme southern end of it. I think once I get inland in California here, I'm pretty much out of it. Wow, that's a neat boat on the side of a road there. Jeez. SoCal, this was so far away. I drove up once. Um, There's a lot of driving. I think I, I mapped it. I could get to San Luis Obispo on this tank of diesel if I wanted to, which that's pretty far south. It basically gets 600 mile range. I still haven't decided if I want to um, cut across at uh, Redding or cut across at Sacramento or even Bakersfield. Those are my three options. Um, so it's Saturday night. Hopefully it's not hard getting a camping spot. It's the weekend, but it is March. Technically it's still winter. Not sure how how many Californians are out camping. This is the historic Smith River area. Basically, it cost me $120, 20 gallons to get to California, taking the um, coast highways. If I had taken the interstate, um, I think it would have been less. Crescent City, 13 miles. San Francisco, 361. So we're gonna do um, this video to Crescent City. Wow, we got a Dollar General out here. Every time I get to a town with good cell reception, I'm going to stop in a parking lot, let the truck idle for five minutes, and then turn it off and get another five, ten minutes of battery from the truck. And then that should help me uh, upload these videos a lot faster. Basically, if you idle this diesel with depth, it clogs up the particulate filter faster. It can't regen when you're 
idling. So I don't technically know how long you have to do it to cause damage. Um, it could be a lot longer than five minutes. I don't want to take the chance though. If you know, leave me a comment. I would think 10, 15 minutes might be okay. The land of the speed demons again. <laughs> Everyone's a race car driver in California. If you're not, I, I don't mean to offend you. It's just people do drive faster. At least when we lived in SoCal. People went 20, 30 over the speed limit on the interstate. If you're going 60, they're going 80. Then they didn't they didn't get stopped. Because there's so much traffic. So I haven't seen a regular gas station yet to see what the price is. We'll find out in Crescent City. If everything I heard is true, it should be six fifty a gallon. Boom. It's really big redwood trees. tonight for sure and it'll be warmer Crescent City eight miles trips and I just eat enough so I don't feel sick 
and the protein drinks have all my vitamins and minerals. So I actually drink like two or three a day, and each one is 160 calories. They're the ones you buy at Costco. So they're like $1.50 each. I like them. I have vanilla, chocolate, and coffee latte. how strong the cell service is. I'm getting four and five bars along this road. But it is 8 a.m. March 12th, Saturday morning. I think the first video of this trip will be up in two or three days. Starting in Westport, Washington. We're getting 23 miles a gallon, that's it, going 55 because of the strong wind. There's a KOA to the left here. I'm only getting two bars by it, so not good cell service for some reason. And now it's going up. Oh, not really. Never mind. This Google Maps is trying to take me on the back roads again. It's scary. <laughs> I don't want to go on the back roads. A mile, turn left to Elk Valley Crossroad. Another campground this exit. Florence Keller Park. Tent camping. Oh, I like being on the turn divided highways. I can upload um, today that are ready. Hopefully I can get them done. That would be awesome. Wow, 
cell phone service here is horrible. I got one bar. I'm almost to Crescent City. I don't understand that. Hopefully it gets better. Crescent City, population 7,600, elevation 16 feet, and diesel is 665 here. So it is a dollar more than Oregon. We might do a little drive through of the downtown area. Oh, I'm getting a signal, so that's good. I got four bars again. I should try something here. There's a Home Depot, and I've heard Home Depot Wi-Fi is good. Um, I should see if I can use it. In one quarter of a mile, turn slight left. So we're gonna end this video in Crescent City. Thanks for watching. That was um, turn right and then turn Brookings, left. Oregon to Crescent City, California.